Hello all, Stacy the Black Feather Intuitive. Welcome to another weekly oracle reading for the week of July 13th. Hoping you guys are doing well. Let's call in all the archangels, ascended masters, creature teachers, highest guides, light beings, elementals, loved ones in spirit. Come on down into this space to give us the clarity and guidance that we need for our highest and best vision of this week and the highest and best versions of ourselves this week. So I am feeling my Shadowscapes Tarot, Barbara Moore. And let's see what they want to say to us. Oh, I love it. Five of Pentacles. So this week, we are really in a place of having to shift out of worry. So I'm feeling that uh, this is a card of worry. A lot of the changes, the upheaval, the tension in the energies that are going around, a lot of the chaos and the disruptiveness that is creating change for us is causing a lot of worry. People are concerned about what is happening, what's going on. On that personal level for you, you're kind of looking at life going, okay, like, am I gonna keep my job? Am I not gonna keep my job? Is my family gonna be safe? Am I gonna get this? you know, this coronavirus. Some of you may be thinking, I'm just so over coronavirus and I just want my life back, but I don't know how that's going to look. Some of you have already been in the major transformation. Some of you maybe don't have the job right now or are on a job hunt searching for things. The guidance here this week is don't waste the worry. The universe has your front, back, sides, bottom, and top. Pentacle energy is all about the realm of the material. The physical, I always talk about thoughts becoming things. This is how you can make your thoughts tangible. Um, this is also the realm of health and the realm of finances. And let's talk about that right across the board. The number five represents change, transformation. So this is telling us that there is shifting happening on a physical level, on a material level. And we are seeing that all over the place. I'm hearing that there's actually gonna be some ups and downs in the stock market again this week. Not that that's a big surprise, we've been having that all along, but there's something big that's gonna be happening I'm hearing on a Wednesday. Um, there's going to be mm, a little more disruption. The whole point of all of this disruption is because the change is here. Let's embrace it and let's make it work for us. But in order to embrace the change fully, we cannot fall into that pattern of fear. We cannot get into that space of worry because worry creates so much anxiety and it's all in the realm of the mind and then we don't have clarity. Then we have no idea whether we're coming or we're going and that's not good for anyone. So this week, don't waste the worry. Instead, step into that space of, you know what? I got this. My dream team has got this. Tune in, get connected into you. And on a physical level, I want you to mm, manifest. When you get into that space of worry or anxious thoughts, shift right away into, okay, not where I'm at right now and how I'm feeling about things right now. I wanna shift into where I see myself in two weeks. Where do I see myself in a month? Where do I see myself in a year from now? Focus on the vision of where you want to be and live as though it is so. Feel it as though it is so. Sometimes it takes a while to shift the mind. You know, the monkey mind is crazy. Our thoughts can be weapons um, for us, you know, rather than tools, they can be weapons. So sometimes it takes a while to shift out of that sort of weapon status. But in order to bring into being that feeling of peace and calm and trusting that everything is happening in the way it's supposed to and the change is good for you on a personal level, the change is good for you on a social level, the change is good for you on a global level, the global you, um, don't waste the worry. Also, I'm getting that even though there is going to be some up and down from a financial perspective, the majority of it is going to be, I want to say, smoke and mirrors, especially for those of you who invest. I feel like there's going to be a lot of this, whatever, and there's panic and fear. Don't worry about it. It's smoke and mirrors. You're always going to stay even. You're always going to come back to this particular line. This line has been reset. 
it's a reset from what it was before. You may feel that it's a little lower than what it's been up to this point, but you're going to stay even keel for this week and possibly for next week too. So don't get too caught up in the drama of things. Focus more on what is right in front of you. What do you have right in front of you? I'm also hearing gratitude. It's important to step into a place of gratitude for what you do have. Focus on the, okay, I have stability. I have a roof over my head right now. Don't think about, you know, two weeks from now or a month from now. I am grateful right now for everything that I have. Thank you, universe. Bring me more. Focus on the physical. Focus on the material things that you have. Don't get attached to them, but be grateful for the fact that you have them in this moment right now. That's going to give you a, a sense of calm and peace from that mm, place of security. This really is a lot about root chakra. Let's talk about health. I do feel that there's a lot of up and down as well with health. Don't need to be psychic to know that that's what's going on with coronavirus. But aside from coronavirus, what I'm hearing is about 50% of us are going to run into some kind of health issue. Doesn't mean it's necessarily going to be big, but it's going to be something. Um, it might be a, a simple cold. It could be um, arthritis uh, popping up. Um, it could be that you know you were given a diagnosis last month and you've been going you know pretty good along that path, and now suddenly you have a little setback. Don't let this derail you. I feel like it's coming through so that you can. Go within, connect to source, and work on your own healing. So when we are in that calm state, when we are focused on an area in our body, for example, that we want to shift and change, when you're bringing the attention to it and filling it with love, filling it with positive energy, filling it with the vision of where you wish to be. You know, when I have a cold, I'm like, okay, it's gonna be about two or three days of eh, well, all right, I'm gonna focus on, this is how I wanna feel after the eh. I wanna feel like I'm you know, back to normal, like I am new and improved. Um, so I focus on that and I channel that into my body. So it's about focusing on healing yourself or mm, giving yourself supportive energy to allow the body to heal, you know, whether that's using Western medicine, uh, a combination of Western medicine and, you know, your own gifts, or maybe it's just all your own gifts. Maybe it's naturopathic stuff, the homeopathic stuff that you're using. Add yourself into the mix. Add your energy into the mix. I feel like that's a strong message for all of us. We all have the ability to do it. We all have the ability to change. And finally, there's a, a beautiful little butterfly in an orb and um, her head is bent over. She can't see it. She's not paying attention to it, but the butterfly is here to say, hey, I've got you. Everything is going to be okay. This butterfly is symbolic of our dream team. So connect with dream team, release the worry and step more into a place of trust. The universe always has your front, back, sides, bottom and top. All right, let's see what Oracle deck we're gonna use. Uh, I'm feeling that we need a little animal love. So let's see what the animals have to say around this. And this deck is um, an Aussie deck uh, called The Secret Language of Animals, Chip Stevens. So some of these um, animals, if you're all American, you might not recognize it, um, but the message is always good. Okay, we've got White Pelican. Ease, optimism, grace, and cooperation. The first thing I'm hearing here is when we're talking about releasing worry and not stepping into that worried state, we want to use grace. We want to use ease. We want to move into this with the positive attitude, with the optimism of, okay, today looks a little freaky. I'm not quite sure how it's going to turn out, but I'm gonna to choose to see it as the glass half full. I'm gonna to choose to see the glass overflowing. I'm gonna to choose to see it from the perspective of what do I want, what change do I want to have happen, and what are the results of that? You know, maybe even it's not so much what change, it's why do I want this change? Focusing on that helps you to ease into the changes that are here. This is not something that you can you know, shoo shoo away. The change is here. It's obvious, it's in our face, it's not going away. 
So how can we ease into it to make it work for us and be in that optimistic space? So the pelican obviously is a bird, it flies. And I can tell you, I love being at the beach. So any of you who watch me, you know that I go to the beach a lot. That's one of my happy places. And I always love watching the pelicans and how they just glide so ever so close to the surface of the water. And they only ever dip in, dive in when they find their little snack. But they're gliding so gracefully over that water. And sometimes the water is smooth and sometimes the water's not. They never touch the water until they're ready to dive in. And I'm feeling like there's a grace to that. There's an art to that. Focus on that for you this week. How can you bring the art of grace into your different levels of life? How can you bring it on an emotional level when you are in communication with your uh, loved ones and people in your inner circle? How can you bring grace to the work that you're doing, the actual work? How can you bring grace to your, your grocery shopping this week? Um, it's all about the different layers and levels. How can you bring grace into that? Because with grace comes ease. With ease, comes no, um, no anxiety. There's no anxiety, there's no room for it when you have ease, when you're feeling positive about things. And you can do that without knowing exactly how everything's going to turn out. You can shift into that energy. And finally, I wanna talk about the word um, uh, cooperation. And again, it's connection with source. It's connecting with that dream team and saying, okay, I'm not going to waste the worry. And instead I'm going to be open to receiving the next um, action step that I'm supposed to take to help in bringing grace and ease to the word, to the world, to releasing the worry and stepping into that space of trust. I'm going to cooperate with my dream team. I'm going to cooperate with my 3D team, with the people in my life. I'm gonna cooperate with universal flow and divine flow. I'm not gonna fight anything. I'm gonna go with the flow and just allow it to take me where it wants to. I don't always have to control everything that comes my way. I can move through it with ease and observe it and see where I need to take it next, see what it's going to show me because the pelican always gets the prize. The pelican always gets the little snack and they do it with grace and ease. They just flow. It's not full of effort and angst and worry and anxiety. It's with ease. So step into that ease, easeful, graceful state. All right, let's pick a feather. Oh, we got two today. So, oh, and they're both the same color. That's interesting. So the first one is earth grounding. And it's interesting. We've got five of pentacles today, which of course I said is the realm of the material, the physical, it's earth energy from that element. So I feel that this feather is reinforcing the message about don't worry, you know, have faith, have trust that the universe is going to get you there in order to do that stand on your own two feet recognize that mother earth has you that there you know the earth this planet is giant it's ginormous it has so much to offer us so many resources if we only open up ourselves and come from a place of gratitude around that so earth energy honor mother earth and step into um grounding step into your center and then the second feather is hmm, now is all we have. Be present. No matter what is going on, just like the white pelican, the white pelican is very present when they are gliding gracefully along. They're purposeful, they're intentional because they're in the present moment, but they recognize, hey, now is all I have. And I'm following this little snack and I'm gonna get this little snack. And I'm focused in the now. I'm not focused on, on what if I don't get the little snack. I'm not focused on the snack I didn't get last time or the snack that I did have last time. I'm not focused on you know the snacks I'm gonna be seeking next week. I am in the present moment and I am doing it gracefully. So be optimistic about your future and be in your present moment now and enjoy what you have. Thanks so much guys for tuning into this reading. If you like what you see here, feel free to like, subscribe, and click the bell on my YouTube channel. Also, I offer a number of different services. Would love to help you out and connect for a 
30 minute essential reading or a 60 minute profound reading where I tune in for you and give you the clarity and guidance that you need for your highest and best in a very personal way. Would love to connect in that way. Check out my website, theblackfeatherintuitive.com. Also, I have a Facebook page, The Black Feather Intuitive. I know, shocking. It's all the same. <laughs> Would love to connect with you guys there. Enjoy your week. See ya.